you cool cats and kittens. It's Carol Baskin from Big Cat Rescue, and I sure hope this thing isn't upside down. That would be stupid. And it looks like it might be. I'm gonna stop and try again. Well, let me know. Uh, Tierra, is this upside down? So I'm driving my cart and I'm thinking, I wonder why they, somebody has left one of the feeder things, one of these, on my basket up front. Hey Deb, am I upside down? It's right side up. Good. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> and here's Lisa. Uh, you're going to hate this ride. This apparently has been for, I don't know how long oh. on my cart and it's dead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's, <yuck>. oh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> It's, um, somebody had a bowl full of food for Lakota that apparently he didn't eat and they oh left it on my cart for God knows how long. <laughs> and as I'm driving, I'm thinking, I smell something dead. There's somebody yeah, dead. Yeah. I'm looking all around and then I'm oh, like, yeah. oh, it's that thing. Oh. oh, yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> it's really bad and the wind's blowing right in our faces. So I wanted to give you a few reminders on our way out to the parking lot. One is... To thank everyone you guys were absolutely freaking amazing for international tiger day you set an all new record every year we're like it's a world record for us and we just can't believe it gets better every year but you raised twenty thousand dollars for tigers in the wild and that enables us to buy four solar powered wells to let the tigers have drinking water at surface level and of course the leopards and everybody else who lives in the forest with them so that's really exciting news and then we had the kimba tiger faux selfie contest where we just had a cutout of Kimba, flat Kimba, that went around to places that tigers would hate to be in captivity. And our winner of the $500 prize was Maria. Shout out to Maria. That was a lovely photo that you supplied. And I think everybody really loved the fact that you talked about no more tiger mascots. So thank you for that. Yes. And then the runner up to Maria was Diane. So thank you to Diane. Is it Diane or Diana? I need to check my notes here. Uh, Diane. And then also we have a eBay auction that is ending tonight at 7 p.m. And if you guys have been watching our eBay auctions, we're Big Cat Rescue on eBay. We have some amazing stuff as we've been cleaning out all of our closets and drawers and buildings and finding so many cool things and putting them up on eBay in some packages that are really spectacular. And people have been bidding on those like crazy. So be sure to get over there and check them out. That ends at 7 p.m. tonight. And now I will hand you off to Lisa, but now the camera's on okay. this side. All right. <laughs> Hello. How are you, everybody? Happy Sunday. I just happened to be out doing some sickles to the sickle cats when I saw Carol drive up and I thought, well, now's as good a time as any to just hop on the cart and save you a trip. So. <laughs> Yeah, good idea. <laughs> Getting rid of the stinky Lakota diet here. So yes, our, our cats are very happy to get sickles right now. It's really hot today. I think the heat index is like 105 or something. So they're quite appreciative. Yeah, right now. Yesterday, man, everybody was panting. Awful. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get some rain really what we need too. We got a lot of rain yesterday. Oh did you? We didn't yeah. get I didn't get a drop where I am oh, so yeah. yeah. A lot of rain. Like my, I sat for like an hour. Oh no. I say my swimming pool has gone from being bathtub to ready to boil eggs. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna the cats when they get in pass pools, this they off to you. Off. I I stuck the keyboard in there just to keep it cool a little <laughs> bit. So I'll be right back. All right, so while she's grabbing that, I keep forgetting to look over here because I'm so trained to look at the other side. Um, Ringo, welcome. Kathy, ugh. Kathy says heat index is 105 billion. <laughs> hey, Rachel, thank you for watching. So while she's getting the keyboard, we're going to go out and sing to one of the cats. We do that as a form of enrichment for the cats. So right now, the enrichment they're getting are blood sickles and tuna melts and sardini martinis and seems like they have another clever name for it but what they do is they grind up different kinds of foods that cats like in ice and well they mix it in water and then freeze it and make popsicles for them so every day they're getting those popsicles to help them cool off hey name 
<laughs> Sue says the AC is best invention ever. Yeah. Hi, Faith and Jenny. Hey, Deb and Michael and Marcy. Who else is here? Gabrielle and Naomi and Vicki and Doris. Oh, Doris said she didn't have sound a while ago. Glad she does now. Sheila and Anki and Belinda. And we'll turn this around. I think we're good. Uh oh. This well, this is not going to work. Um, What's up? See, it's got the bar in the way. This bar, oh, because oh, I've got it see. upside down. No, I've got this thing upside oh, down. Oh, I thought it was something blocking you in the back. <laughs> I wish it was that. Okay, okay it's going to be a shaky ride, guys, because. Well, let me know if I turn this around uh, it says I can't do that all right well I guess you're all right so who oh boy just don't want to cover the yeah the so monitor. let me do like that okay all right so far so good <laughs> I'll hold on to this so we're heading out to Cyrus um, he had a birthday this week so He's in he is yeah but he was just out I just gave him a sickle but then he of course, had to go see what Chaos was getting. Because <laughs> so, she was also getting a sickle, so then he had to run down and see what Chaos was up to. So hopefully he's still out and about. Hi, Breedy. How you doing? So hopefully he's still... One thing about Cyrus, he's, he's pretty social can usually count on him to come out and see what's happening, so. Make sure we do a little turn. <laughs> Let you I see the sights. Over there, but it's I know, stuff. right? I did that a couple of times today as well, yeah. She's got some enrichment that has tiger stripes on it. Uh, uh, I don't know if you can really see it, but anyway, as we go by, maybe. It looks like a tiger in the grass. And it, <laughs> if you go by quick, you think that she's laying in the grass. <laughs> but it's not her. Let's see if I can get straight ahead here. How about that? That breeze does feel good. Yes. It's nice to see everything blooming, all the crepe myrtles. Jamie planted, well, Jamie and I both planted a whole bunch of plants out in the field at our house, and it's mostly butterfly plants. Oh, and nice. I, oh, they're all in bloom, and the butterflies are all over them. It's just gorgeous. I had a nice butterfly visit yesterday. I, think I looked it up. I'm pretty sure it was a giant swallowtail. Ooh. Yeah. Based on the markings and yeah, and I have a hummingbird that, as a regular visitor, I have a um, uh, what's it called, honeysuckle, that oh. it vines over an arch that we have, and that's the favorite plant. And he got chased off by another hummingbird. Um, I read on it, and I guess male hummingbirds are fairly territorial. That is so, so funny. Yeah. It's I like, know, what right? What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> but I guess if you're another hummingbird, then maybe, I don't know. Try poking out. Yeah. Oh, Frankie! Well, eat that sickle, buddy, that I gave you, please. Can you show Frankie? Please eat that sickle I gave you. Hi. Okay, you look hot and it's right there. It's right there. Go on, buddy. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't do better on his sickle today. Hey, Shiloh! Shiloh had a sickle. <laughs> Hi, Shiloh. And last I looked, Bailey was up top and Mo was on the bottom. Yep. We're doing their double they had yesterday. Double decker <laughs> seating there. Hi, Bailey. I know you look hot, sweet girl. So last time he was over on that side, just a little bit ago when we had the sickle. So. Yeah, so I uh, bet he could have moved, it's possible, but he'll probably come back out if he hears us doing something. I say more just go for the shade, <laughs> wherever that is. <laughs> I think he'll come out. My heart is acting a little peculiar since they sent it in for repair and kind of lurches now. The sickle was right there. Yep, there's still a little remnant of Oh, there he is. He's right under the platform. Hi. 
There he is. Hello, buddy. Hello, Cyrus. Get up to you. So I'm gonna go in. Sorry, I should have parked down here so you could go in the gate. This is going to be weird because now my <laughs> the ring that I put my finger through on the back of my phone is now in the wrong place because I've got this stupid thing upside down. Okay. There's the Cyrus. Yes, please. I just needed to get down here so he didn't have that bar in his face. Oh, there we go. Hello, buddy. You're getting a song. All right. So this song I did. Sure, this train up. This song I first did for him when he first moved to his current enclosure. He used to be a cat that only a green level keepers could take care of and then he switched to a yellow shirt level and that made us all very happy. It wasn't because he was bad, it was <laughs> because of where he lived. <laughs> so this is for him. Getting to know you, getting to know all about you, getting to like you, getting to hope <laughs> I think his little uh, ear tufts were quite in tune with you there. They were checking out every note. <laughs> Aww, he's a very sweet boy. <laughs> so hopefully y'all enjoyed seeing Cyrus today and some of the other cats along the way. And we will see you next Sunday at 2 o'clock for another episode of Singing Sunday. Thank you, Lisa. A perfectly awesome week. <laughs> Thank you, Cyrus. Thank you, everyone. Bye, sweet boy. <laughs>